What's going on guys, Marshall Breakdowns here. Today, we're gonna to be looking at a technique and some advanced details used at the highest level of competition by four-time NCAA champion, three-time world champion, and Olympic bronze medalist, Cal Dake. Before we get started, if you take something away from this video and you wanna see more breakdowns of wrestling, BJJ, and MMA technique videos, give this video a thumbs up guys and subscribe so you can stay up to date with all my future uploads. Now, let's get into the technique. Cal Dake is primarily known for his almost unstoppable defense, often turning his opponent's offense into his own points via chest wrap or go behind. Today, however, we're going to be looking at something he does offensively and some different contexts in which he uses it, specifically the snatch single. In this first sequence, Dake is wrestling 2016 Olympic bronze medalist Sonar Demirtas. Dake and Sonar both take very low stances, often touching the mat with their hands. Now, watch as Dake reaches with his rear hand, baiting Sonar to tie up with him on that side. Dake then steps and swings his head under and to the outside of Sonar's arm, faking the shot. Sonar reacts appropriately by circling away. Here's the detail though. Dake bangs a collar tie, which forces a step from his opponent. Now, remember, the leg is now vulnerable because he's actively setting his weight on it. Dake touches the outside hand to fake a tie up and immediately snags the outside of the leg just behind the knee. As Sonar circles away from the shot, he actually squares himself up where Dake is already waiting for him. Dake re-penetrates to high crotch, continually cutting the corner for the finish and dominates with a leg lace. In this next clip, Dake is wrestling John Alvarez of Spain. Notice he takes a two-on-one with a supinated bottom hand. A pronated grip would risk putting your opponent's arm between you and the leg, which allows them to defend much more easily. He disguises the attack by waiting until the leg is just close enough to reach by nothing more than a turn of his shoulders. Dake's fingers latch just behind the hamstring tendon to prevent the hand from slipping off if the opponent tries to retract his leg. From here, Dake simply steps forward and picks up the single on the outside, connecting his hands. Notice how on the finish, he bumps his hips in, lifting the opponent slightly, where he kicks the leg out from under his opponent by kicking just above the knee. So far, we've looked at the snatch single for both a head outside and a head inside finish. Let's finish up by looking at a different type of entry. Dake will often hit his snatch single as a defensive counter as well. You'll notice if you watch a lot of international wrestling, a lot of Russian guys use this. In this last clip, Dake's opponent Nuriko of Belarus attempts an arm throw. Dake defends by circling in front of him before immediately circling back behind his opponent. He then hooks under his opponent's butt with his free hand and as Nuriko begins to stand up, Dake drops his level and goes elbow deep, forcing his opponent to let go of Dake's trapped hand to defend the single. The opponent tries twice to create a scramble by capturing Dake's own leg. Dake's good position, however, keeps him safe, and the opponent is forced to belly out and give up the takedown. The main takeaway for this video is a concept my coach hammered into us countless times, getting to a leg. Many people either have the ability to get to a leg or the ability to finish once they get to a leg. When you can do both at a high level, you'll be able to dominate your opponents on the feet. In the future, we'll look not only at more ways to get to the leg, but also how to finish from both good and inevitably the bad positions you'll find yourself in. That's all for this video, guys. If you took something away from this, please be sure to like, comment, and share. It helps the channel a lot. Let me know what content and concepts you want to see covered in the future. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and good luck training.